Hello everyone, my name is Kara and today on Crafting with Kara we are going to learn how to paint pour and we're going to pour our paint onto rocks. So paint pouring has been trending recently. Um, on You've seen probably seen a lot of it on Pinterest or Instagram. It's where you take different colors of paint and you pour them onto a surface in different um, patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to try what's called a dirty pour today, where you pour a bunch of colors into a cup and then pour the cup full of paint onto a surface. In this case, we're using rocks. Now paint pouring can get a little expensive. Um, you use acrylic paint and a pouring agent to thin out the paint so it spreads more quickly and easily. Um, you can also buy canvas to do your painting with. However, we are going to be fairly frugal with this craft, and that's why I chose rocks to paint over. So if you have acrylic paint, that's great. If not, you can get these at a dollar store. Um, and instead of a pouring agent, because there are specific pouring agents out there, we're going to use Elmer's glue. So along with your paint and glue, you're going to need something to mix your paint and glue in. For example, I use little Jello cups. Um, you can use empty yogurt cups. You could also use a Solo cup if you want to. Um, but for as many colors as you have, you're going to need a cup to mix the glue and paint together. And then you will need a, another cup, an empty one, to mix all of your colored paints together for our pour. So the first thing we need to do for our pouring craft today um, is mix our acrylic paints with a pouring agent. Now you can buy um, different pouring agents, but we are going to go the frugal route and just use Elmer's glue today. What you're gonna do is put a little bit of glue into one of your cups, and then we're going to pour paint into it. Now the idea behind this is you want to use less paint. So you can um, pour your paint directly onto your rocks, but you're gonna waste a lot of it. So that's why you use a pouring agent to thin out the paint. So you use less. So I'm going to pour some into my glue and mix it until it is at the consistency we want it. which is a consistency that slides off of your mixer easily. So depending on the size of your rocks or even if you decide to pour onto a canvas instead of a rock, um, that's how much glue and paint you're going to want to mix together. So there, it slides off very easily. It's a good consistency. Now do this for all of your paints that you, all the different colors that you wanna use. Here's my little setup today. I have four colors that I've mixed with my pouring agent, uh, my glue, and then I have two rocks that I'm going to paint. I put them in this box because you are going to be pouring paint onto the rocks. And of course you don't want it to get on anything so I put it in a box. You can also put dowels of some sort so your rocks sit on, um, instead of sitting on the bottom of the box, they're gonna sit on the dowels. And then you can get the edges better with your pour. But I um, am not going to paint the bottom or anything, so I am just going to sit them in my box. Okay, so there are a lot of different ways that you can pour paint. A beginner way that I found out, since this is the first time I am doing this, um, is called a dirty pour, which you get a empty cup and you are going to pour your paints into the cup, like so, color by color, in whatever order you choose.
and you're creating the layers that are going to be on your rock. Other methods, you do this directly onto a canvas or even directly onto your rock. I have a bunch of different colors and rings in this little cup. So now you take your cup and you're going to start pouring onto your rock. The circles of color should make a really cool design. And I'm going to actually move some of it because I didn't get some on this corner right here. Over there. Over there. And then you basically just let gravity do the work the paint is going to fall into the cracks and spread out and you're going to wait at least 24 hours before you move it so it dries. Since you're, you used a decent amount of paint and it's pretty thick, even though we thinned it out, it's going to take some time to dry. So here are what my rocks look like after I poured the paint on them. As you can see, there's a lot of paint in the box and not on the rock. That's because it ran off of the rock. My colors could be a little more vibrant, so I would suggest choosing maybe a little brighter colors. Um, and instead of using two light colors that I use, maybe use only one light color. Um, and let's see. They look pretty cool. There's the other one. I think I like this one a little bit more because, of course, I like dark colors. And, yeah, I'm going to let them sit for a day, at least a day, and then I'm going to check and see how dry they are. Thank you for joining me on my first paint pouring craft. Um, once my rocks dry, I will post a picture on the Tuxedo Park Library Youth Services account. And um, I'm also going to put them outside in our garden. So thanks again. Hope you had fun.